Basic principle of refrigeration is simple. Just pass a colder liquid continuously around the object which is to be cooled. This will take heat out from the object. The whole refrigeration technology is after this, how to produce cold liquid continuously. We will see how this is achieved in this video. This is what inside a refrigerator. At the heart of the system is a simple device called throttling device. Cold liquid is produced with help of this phenomenon. In this case, throttling device is a capillary tube. For effective throttling, at inlet, refrigerant should be high pressure liquid. Throttling device is an obstruction to the flow, which causes tremendous pressure drop. Due to drop in pressure, boiling point of refrigerant comes down, and it starts evaporating. Heat required for evaporation comes within the refrigerant, so its temperature drops. If you check temperature across throttling device, you can notice this drop. Next phase is simple. Just pass this cold liquid over the body where you have to absorb heat. During heat absorption process, refrigerant further evaporates and transforms into pure vapor. So we have produced the required refrigeration effect. If we can take this low pressure vapor refrigerant to state before throttling process, that is high pressure liquid state, we will be able to repeat this process. So first step, let's raise the pressure. A compressor is introduced for this purpose. Compressor will raise the pressure back to its initial value. But since it is compressing gas along with pressure, temperature will also raise. It is unavoidable. Now the refrigerant is high pressure vapor. To convert it to liquid state, we are introducing another heat exchanger. This heat exchanger is fitted outside refrigerator. So it will liberate heat to the surroundings. Vapor will get condensed to liquid and temperature will come down to normal level. So the refrigerant is back to its initial state again, high pressure liquid. We can repeat this cycle over and over for continuous refrigeration. This cycle is known as vapor compression cycle. You can note more details of refrigerator components here. To enhance heat transfer, both evaporator and condenser are having fins attached to it. Since evaporator is cooling the surrounding air, it is common that water will get condensed over it forming frost. Frequent removal of frost is required to enhance heat transfer. Apart from raising pressure, compressor also helps maintain flow in the refrigerant circuit. Usually, hermetically sealed reciprocating type with proper sealing is used for this purpose. Since it is compressing gas, huge amount of input power is required for this operation. A simple energy balance of the system yields this relation. Performance of a refrigeration system can be defined as follows. Hope you had a good overview of working of a refrigerator. Thank you.